What should I get for dinner? I don't know what to get. I belong, I belong to you. Hello my friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I do not intro this video at all, so that is what this clip is. But I just wanted to say hi, hello, my name's Connor, if you've never seen me before, because I don't even say hi, I just get straight into talking. This vlog, like all of my vlogs, is kind of all over the place. It's been a bit of a weird couple of weeks, um, but I hope you enjoy. I didn't weekly vlog last week. Filming and editing my half marathon video took so long, but I really like how it came out and you guys are really loving it too, and I'm just, I'm very proud. It is Tuesday evening today and it's just me home tonight. Normally I'm with someone. This feels very strange to be just by myself at night time. It's kind of nice to have like the house to myself. I just got back from my easy run. We're in week five of training, which is wild. I feel like I just started. 8K easy run, very easy. I think I did it in like over an hour. <laughs> very, very slow. It is 6.15 and I don't know what to make for dinner. I have ingredients, but I don't have any protein. I don't have any meat. I have eggs. In my mind, I wanted to make rice paper rolls, but I, I mean, you could use the egg as the protein for the rice paper roll. I could pop into the supermarket and get some stuff, but I cannot be bothered. Also, the Whistler jumper is out. <laughs> I don't know why, but this just makes me think of like my OG weepy vlogs. Today and yesterday were cold. This morning, cold. It was like nine degrees. That's cold. At least it is for Brisbane and I loved it. Oh, I don't know what to make. I don't want to make anything. But I literally have tomato, avocado, mushrooms, carrot, cap. Like I have veggies and I have eggs. Two eggs. So I'm going to have a look on Uber Eats. Very rarely do I ever get Uber Eats by myself. I'm usually with someone, so this feels strange. A subway sounds really good, but the last time I had subway, it, I swear, it literally gave me diarrhea. And that, oh, I just slipped on Charlie's slobber. Charlie, come inside, please. I predict my hamstrings are gonna be very sore tomorrow because whenever I do a hamstring movement, I'm out for the count. And I did legs this morning, so. Do I want GYG? What you doing, Charles? Come say hi. Come say hi to everyone. What should I get for dinner? I don't know what to get. What do I wanna eat, Charlie? Had some difficulties. Her new marriage has challenges. There was some bloodshed. She tried to kill me. I did. I decided on rice paper rolls. I was almost gonna get Uber Eats. <coughs> oh, shivers. I just couldn't justify it. Not for tonight. So I've made my classic rice paper rolls and I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I'm currently watching season two, episode one of From. If you haven't seen it, it's on Stan. I don't know if Stan's an international thing or just Australia. You munch on your foot. It might be on other things, but it is so good. It reminds me so much of like Bird Box and what's that other movie? Like, what's the one about? A Quiet Place? Like, it's that kind of vibe. The new season just came out, so I'm watching that and it's so good. Oh my. That is terrifying. Ooh. Oh. My mom. ready for the day. I'm about to film a Princess Polly haul. I don't do that many like dedicated clothing haul videos anymore. I'll do them every now and then um, if they are in like my agreement or whatever. Like Princess Polly I tend to work with quite often and I might have a couple like dedicated hauls in that video and then other videos that I might do with them are like integrated hauls like into vlogs and stuff which I prefer. I do like filming hauls but I find one they're not as popular with you guys like I feel like they're not as popular in general on YouTube and I much prefer to do more like lifestyle content so that's that's why I kind of steer away from doing dedicated hauls. So I'm trying to think to myself, like, what can I do to make it more 
entertaining because at the end of the day you watch these videos for entertainment or advice or inspiration but I do think the core of what I do is entertainment right I could be wrong you guys might watch me for lots of different reasons I think I'm gonna lean towards doing like a talk through haul instead of like sitting down and then putting the try on clip next to me but comment down below if you still like clothing hauls i still watch people's clothing hauls they do have a, this feeling of like nostalgia which i like it's kind of like any type of like og beauty or fashion video just has that like warm feeling i don't really want to put makeup on but i will because i need to film this video so what i've got is like moisturizer and bronzer this might be pointless because i'm getting my lashes lifted today so I'm going to have to take off any makeup or creams anyway. I need to put on a headband. I also just had the most exciting opportunity come my way. You guys will find out what it is kind of soon. It's just one of those like, Connor, you cannot say no to this. I don't really go to too many events because half the time I feel quite uncomfortable. I'm a very shy person. Like I just, if I don't know someone or some people, like that is literally my worst nightmare. Putting me in a room with people that I don't know. I would rather do so many things before that, but I've had this opportunity come my way. I'm not gonna know anyone at this thing, event, if you will. And that is terrifying. And I was kind of leaning towards not going, but it's one of those things that I feel like any normal person would be like, oh my God, that is so exciting. And I initially, I was like, holy shit, this is insane. I kind of thought about it and it's like, Connor, you're gonna do that, you're gonna have to do this, you're gonna have to do that. and like eternally grateful that I could have this opportunity, but just that like social anxiety and just anxiety in general, it literally will stop you from doing things that you wanna do that are so exciting. Because I was like, I don't know if I'm capable of like putting myself in that position, but I have said yes and I'm gonna do it. And it is the most amazing thing in the, ever. It's so insane. It's probably one of the coolest things that I will probably do as an influencer. So that's coming up. <laughs> I can kind of like switch myself into this mode of like, just turn off that bloody anxiety. Just don't be like super quiet. Like I can just like absolutely just force myself to be like sociable and <laughs> not weird and just like jump with two feet in. And I don't know if this sounds weird, but I feel like if you are a bit socially anxious or you find social settings like that, kind of difficult you will know what I'm talking about I would love to be this like social butterfly and like super charismatic and like that person that can just talk to anyone that's my boyfriend that is my boyfriend to a T he could talk underwater and I think that's why we are such a good pair I'm so shy if you ever meet me in real life I apologize in advance if I was like awkward but I don't know what it is I never know what to say I always automatically assume that people don't want to talk to me don't know why I don't know if that stems from like high school I just always automatically assume you don't need to talk. You don't, people don't need to hear what you have to say. It's weird. <laughs> oh no. Have we had lines on the screen the whole time? I have such like veiny eyelids. A touch of concealer. This concealer is so good for spot concealing. I used to use the NARS pot, but I can't, I've kind of run out of it. Or like, I still have it, but it's definitely expired. Honestly, this is probably expired too. It's from Rose Ink. LX060. It's a really nice color to like, spot conceal just need to put a little bit of something something on my eyelid i don't know if i can try and squeeze in a gym session before my appointment but i need to get this video done so i can edit it asap okay we're gonna do a bit of bronzer even though i don't really have foundation i think because my face is like a little bit lighter than my body this will help without putting foundation on I also bought some gels and they came the other day and I'm very excited to try them out. I watch a lot of Nick Bear, if you know him. He's like just this insane guy that does every endurance event imaginable, but he recommended them. They're by a brand called Spring Energy and the ingredients are literally like rice, maple syrup, lemon, and they're quite literally made for people with sensitive stomachs. So I'm like, great. I'm excited to give those a whirl because even when I go on a 10K run, I get so hungry. <laughs> But training is going good this week. It's definitely amped up a lot more from last week because it was a deload week. And I'm also in the week before my period. So I'm naturally a little bit more tired, but I'm feeling a lot better than I did the week before 
last month. I remember feeling really, really exhausted last month. Not too bad. Tap on wood. Blend, blend, blend. I've also officially registered for the half marathon. I was always going to do it, obviously, but I just hadn't signed up yet. But I've officially signed up, paid for my entry. So there is no turning back now. <laughs> so that is exciting. Officially in. If you are also going to do the half marathon or the marathon um, on the Gold Coast, please comment down below. If you see me, please say hi because I think that'll just be so much fun. <laughs> because I'm at my boyfriend's house so much, I have all my makeup in a makeup bag, which I've never been that person at because I have this gorgeous vanity. But now I just kind of live out of this makeup bag because there's no point in repacking it. Also, Lauren Spencer Smith stitched my one of my TikToks. It was just me randomly. I was just like, oh, I'm just going to sing along to this song. Not sing, like lip sync to this song. And she stitched it. Ah! God, it was so oh i literally died so freaking cool i love her she is so good two ikea twin beds for the kids that was me literally three weeks after meeting my boyfriend when i went through my last breakup i was like i am never gonna fall for another man again i was just very protective of my heart so when i met my boyfriend we were at his birthday actually and i don't know if this is embarrassing and we were dancing pretty drunk and i just looked up to him and i was like I feel like I'm gonna marry you. And he's like, I think I'm gonna marry you too. And yeah, when you know, you know. You just click with some people. Like some people are just, you just work so well with someone. And I know we cannot predict the future, but sometimes you just have this like gut instinct, and gut feeling. And I have that, so you will meet him one day. It'll probably be just like very spontaneous too. Like I won't, I'm not gonna make a bloody big deal out of it. Like meet my boyfriend, no. He'll probably just be film there when I'm filming one day and I'll be like, hello guys, here he is. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up and quickly do this because I'm getting distracted. This is the TikTok. We've only been dating for a year, but I'm gonna take a risk and sound a little weird. This has been such a weird week. I don't know if there's something in the air, but it just feels weird. Can't quite put my finger on it. I just got a package from Stack, so I thought we would unbox it. I've also just discovered, I got this heart rate monitor last week and I've used it twice. A lot of runners recommend getting heart rate monitors if you want a much more accurate representation of your heart rate, but I wanted to give it a go and I've worn it twice and I realized it hasn't been turned on because I was like, I feel like I couldn't tell a difference. So I looked at a couple tutorials and you have to pair it to your watch, not just pair it to your phone. So I haven't been getting any data from this. It hasn't been on essentially. It is so interesting though, because it doesn't have, you don't charge it. It's not, there's no on button. It's just this and it has these little, I don't even know what you call it. These things that just sit and you wear it like under your boobs. It's just meant to be much more accurate for your heart rate. So I have a run to do today. My motivation to run this week is a little bit low. I kind of correlate that towards my period. But uh, yeah, I've got a run to do today and I really want to get it done today because I've got my long run on Sunday and I want to make sure I have a rest day of running before that. So we got to get it done. It's a tempo run and I don't think it'll be that bad. Plus I could actually test this and you know, use it. Anyway, so from Stacks, they have a collection called Run Club. First, so I got this little sports bra that just has the little Run Club logo on it. I actually should join a running club. That would be a good idea. I know I said I don't like running flowy shorts, but I'm like, surely there's a pair out there that I can wear because I do like running in them. I just don't like the fact that my thighs chafe. I got the black one. Oh, I should wear these today. I got a little tank because I do like running in tanks like this. Because I have one from Gymshark that I really like. Oh, cute. Oh, by the way, lashes. I keep forgetting to film my lash appointments because I'm always running late or I'm just frazzled and I don't vlog. Um, so we did a little bit of a brow sculpt and a lash lift. I don't know about anyone else, but my all-time favorite color is like this like a really light heathered gray. That is my jam. Don't know if you can count that as a color. Oh, I love that. These are like super thick, very different to their, their core collection fabric and premium seamless. I also got a plain black pair of premium seamless. I love running in these because black and they don't ride up. So when you were training for a half marathon, 
be prepared to do the most amount of laundry in your life. <laughs> this is not a new collection, it came out a while ago. They're very like comfy, like lounging around bike shorts almost. <laughs> first run that I've cried on. <laughs> that was really hard. I think I'm actually a lot slower than I think, which is not nice. And like your pace doesn't matter, but I'm pretty slow as it is. And like, I've worked really hard to try and improve it. I don't know if it's because it's the week of my periods or things just feel harder. I feel like I was going so much faster than what my watch was telling me. And I'm like, is that because I've got the heart rate monitor on now? And that's it's more accurate. That felt impossible. I had to pause my watch twice. It was five lots of 400 meters at 7.30 pace and then 400 meters at 6.20 pace. The 7.30 pace felt okay. Like it did feel like a slightly, like I had to go faster than normal. But the 6.20, I felt like I was sprinting to, to get it to, to stay to 6.20. And I'm like, I don't normally have to push that hard to get to 6.20. Is that just like how fast you actually have to go and I've just been living in dreamland this whole time. And I didn't even finish it. I was meant to do a two kilometer warm down. And now it makes me think, has every other run not been accurate? My heart rate was so high that entire run. Oh, I'm sorry. I know this is such a first world problem. Like who cares? I just care about my pace and I hate that. I think it's because I don't feel like I'm adequate enough or like I'm good enough to like talk about running if I don't have a good enough pace. Um, I think that's where it comes from. So yeah. freshly tanned last night so it's probably not the best idea to wear like <laughs> charlie's drinking water it's probably not the best to wear like light colored things when you like pop on a fresh tan i didn't do a very good job with my hands so let's just ignore let's get in the zone this running vest is from lululemon by the way i've gotten heaps of questions about it i'm also in two minds about whether or not to wear my heart rate monitor strap i should though because it is more accurate so it's like why would i just lie to myself and think that i'm doing a pace when i'm actually not however i'm worried that i'm not going to be able to keep up with the pace i think i'm going to do one of these water bottles do i do one or two um these i got off of amazon i'm going to fill it with water and pop in i don't know whether to do a full one or half um i'm going to do half of this um like mineral hydration um, electrolyte. The only thing I don't like about these is like how full they feel at the beginning. I don't really like the taste of these. So I'm gonna probably put a bit of maple syrup in there. And then I'm gonna try my spring energy, but my hands look so bad, I'm so sorry. The awesome sauce. <sighs> I just brushed my teeth so it's really strong. I probably should take one with like water in it. That's probably a better idea. Yeah, I'm gonna take another water bottle. <laughs> That's definitely better. I'm gonna put my little water bottles in. Okay, and then where should I put my gels? There is a little zipper pocket in here actually. This vest is deceiving because it looks like it doesn't fit much, but it actually does. One kilometer, two kilometers, 12-ish to go. <laughs> Three kilometers. Now I have to quicken the pace. Four kilometers, 10 to go. Five kilometers, seven kilometers, had a gel, and now I can slow down for 2k at a comfortable pace. Eight kilometers, feeling okay. Nine kilometers, starting to hurt. Ten kilometers, eleven, I feel really shit. Twelve kilometers, not feeling good. I honestly feel like I could cry. My last two runs have felt really hard, and normally there's like a level where you can kind of, you can push through, but I just feel really shit right now <laughs> this is so weird long run complete 
Hi, I'm back for my run. It was shit. If you want to know what your actual pace is, get a heart rate strap, but it's going to humble you and tell you that you're probably going slower. At least in my case, you might be going faster. Who knows? But I've just updated my runner app. So I've like slowed down because you can put in information about what times you run things in. So I put in like and I stupidly have like PBs in there, which don't we put, don't put a PB in there. Put in like your consistent, like 5K time, your 10K time. So it knows like what you can run at consistently. It's updated all my pacing and it looks a lot more doable with the heart rate strap data. Just cause I think like, I want to be able to enjoy my runs and my last two runs were not enjoyable at all. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how fast you're going, but what matters is like, doing the right pacing for me and my fitness level because running faster than I am capable of for a sustained amount of time is just not gonna make me wanna run. And that's not the end of the game. But we got the 14K done. I'm feeling quite sore. I definitely need to do some stretching. At one point in the run, I like pulled off the top of my water bottle and it like spurred everywhere. Like it was open, so I had to like pause my watch. I paused my watch quite a few times. So I like lost a heap of water. I also didn't take enough water with me on that run. I was so thirsty, so thirsty for like a lot of it. Um, and then I think at about the seven kilometer mark, I had the gel. I wouldn't even call it a gel. It was, it's literally like applesauce. It's quite thick and it tastes really good. I just, I didn't know what I was expecting. And I looked at it and was like, how, do, how the heck do I open this? I ripped it off. It's such an awkward thing. I definitely should have had it when I was in the com my comfortable pacing, not the section that I was trying to hit like 6.45 pace. So I'm like standing there trying to open it. I just like shove it in my mouth. I'm like, do I eat it all at once? And I definitely think it helped. The thing I struggle with the most with the long runs is the fatigue in my legs. I don't know if that's just something that comes with time. Bloody hell, your legs get so sore. And today I was like thinking to myself like, far out, maybe I can't do a half marathon. I'm going to, this is just doubt telling me. But I'm hoping with my adjusted pacing and updating my app, it should feel a lot better and not make me feel shit about myself. Cause that run made me feel really shit about myself and I don't like that, so. But it is also like three days before my period, so. My lips are a bit like purple. Oh my God, why are they purple? I must be really cold. But it's almost 11 a.m. and I'm starving. We're gonna make a fat breakfast. Oh, you're such a sleepy girl. You're no longer a baby, but you are a baby. <laughs> Look how freaking cute these pants are. I got them from Amazon. They are ceramic and they're pink. They have them in heaps of different colors because our pans are on their last legs. They are terrible. I've used them and they are really nice. We'll see how they go. I've never had a ceramic pan like this before. So I'm keen to give it a go. I've got a little one as well. We are in the old garage again for a little workout. And I really want to start incorporating like specific exercises to help me with running. And it's not necessarily anything like super, super different, like squats, lunges, like similar things. But I just want to make sure that I'm doing things that are going to help me with running and I'm gonna try and do it all from my home gym. I would love to do hip thrusts. I just don't really have, I have a bench that's like low enough. Cause I've got one here. Don't mind the mattress in the back, in the background. This one's just too high, but I'm gonna kind of combine my train with soap stuff. Plus I love finding stuff on TikTok, like workouts for runners and people have like put a bunch of suggestions. A lot of like lunges and like step ups, but I'm gonna start off with some stretching. Dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching meaning that you're moving when you're doing the stretches because what you want to be doing is getting all the blood flow to your muscles um, as opposed to like after you work out when you just hold stretches. I think. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Okay, starting off with whatever the heck this is called. Not sure, but I find that it really stretches out my back. It's just like a lunge and a bit of a twist. Um, these, these are called bird dogs, I think. These, <laughs> I'm actually the worst at explaining things. Um, those are some lunges because lunges are really good for running. So I'm just like really trying to activate my glutes, just get everything turned on, get that mind to muscle connection happening um, because I find that I don't do this enough. So then I started doing some glute bridges, just doing some little pulses and then some of these thingies with a glute focus. Now, I'm very aware that the weights are like small, as in like the circumference, just the size of them. So these are more of like an RDL than a deadlift. 
and I'm always umming and ahhing about whether I have good RDL or deadlift form. Because the weights are a lot smaller, it's hard to like get them off the ground at a good angle. But I did three sets of about eight reps and then I moved on to some barbell lunges. You can do this with a dumbbell as well. And I did about six to eight, I think, each leg. I'm not trying to go super high with my reps, nor am I trying to go super heavy. I'm just trying to maintain, maybe build a little bit of strength, but just nothing crazy where I'm gonna be really, really sore the next day. Then I moved on to some Bulgarians. I've never done them with just one dumbbell, like I usually have two, and they're falling over there. Um, but I wanted to try with just one today. I put a plate down just so that my leg was at the correct height. And then I was doing some step ups, and I'm 99% sure that I should do this with a lower bench just because I'm not very good at them. Um, I was really trying to control the way up. You want to like drive with the leg that's on the bench. You don't want to use the leg on the ground and just kick off because that's not really going to be doing anything. Definitely need a lower bench, but yeah, this is my first time doing it and I didn't have anything else. Of I'm about to pop into the supermarket, but I'm going to quickly tint my eyebrows because they're looking a little bit orange. I've been editing back this vlog and I look so orange. It's my own fault. I used a different tan as opposed to loving tan and I look ridiculous. So that is why you don't change tans because I don't know. I just on camera, I just look really, really orange. It just doesn't look great. Sometimes when I use face tan, my eyebrows can go a little bit orange. I didn't get them tinted when I got them done. I just got them waxed. Let me not get this on my jumper. It's scary because it looks really like warm tone, but this is dark brown. So out of darkness. I have officially caught up to real time with the Hamish and Andy podcast. Now I don't have a podcast to listen to at all times. Usually if I was a bit sick of music, I would just chuck on the Hamish and Andy podcast because there are 211 episodes and I have gotten through them all. I started listening end of last year. I got up to date like last week, so it's good being up to date, but it's sad at the same time because now I have to wait each week for a new episode. Please comment down below any podcast you like. I'm so picky with podcasts. I feel like this sounds so mean, but like if the audio is a bit off, it immediately just puts me off the podcast, which is so like, Connor, get over yourself because you're probably missing out on a good podcast. But yeah, if the audio is a bit off, I'm immediately like, mm. it just influences my decision making if I'm going to listen to it or not. The only crime podcast that I have come across that I like is Crime Junkie. Every other one that I've listened to, hey Siri, can you set a timer for six minutes? And I don't even listen to Crime Junkie that often anymore either. I listen to the girls' bathroom on and off. Life Uncut, I only really listen to their Ask Uncut episodes. I'm just a picky bitch when it comes to podcasts. I love the Running Channel podcast, but that, they only have a handful of episodes on there. My vanity looks like a bomb sire right now. It's so messy. This shit stains everything. So be careful with it because I have stained bench tops. I need something to get this off with. Um, it's hard to believe I'm walking through the ruins of the first ever city because I'm not. That's an Iraq. Um, doobity do do. Has anyone seen that TikTok? That guy on TikTok that sings to his dog like doobity do do do. Room to. <laughs> oh, also, I need to show you the funniest freaking thing. I got a mattress topper and it's really nice because it's like a memory foam one, but it's made by a bed into a freaking bunk bed. Doobity do do do. Oh, they look dark. They look really dark. Normally I do like five minutes. Oh, shivers. See, look how dark that got. Oh no, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Great, got crazy tan. Now I got crazy dark eyebrows. I love how I'm just before like, oh my god, I do my eyebrows all the time. It's so easy. This is what they look like. Oh no. They'll look good in like a few days, I promise. Ugh. Okay, note to self, six minutes, little bit long, little bit long. I reckon five minutes. They were probably more on there for like seven minutes because I was talking. Do I look stupid? Charlie, do my eyebrows look okay? Mm, they're not that bad. 
I've honestly had darker before. I'm just feeling really particularly like not attractive at the moment. I don't mean that literally, but I'm just, you know, I just feel a bit gross. I feel like I could do with like a big shower, exfoliate everything, just deep cleanse my soul. That's what I'm feeling. What are you feeling? Charlie had a bath the other day. The great thing about Charlie, can you see her? She's in the darkness. She doesn't smell. And before you come for me and say, well, yeah, of course she doesn't smell because she's your dog you wouldn't smell her but every other person that has come into this house also agrees she doesn't smell and like she's a short haired dog but like literally not at all but she smells good she smells like a puppy you know how puppies just have that like puppy smell <laughs> you smell so nice you don't smell and she doesn't have like bad breath you're just such a clean girl but you say thank you to everyone who said happy birthday charles everyone said happy birthday okay now i have to exist with really dark eyebrows for a few days. Stained the skin, so I think that is giving like a really dark appearance. Me just trying to convince myself that it's fine. I like a dark brow. They're probably a little bit too dark, but it's fine. If you ever want a Rottweiler, just know that they will follow you everywhere. You're my little protector. Oh my God, she farted. <laughs> I will say this dog does diabolical farts. Expectations far too high. So I do break the fuck, set the night alight. <laughs> Would you like anything from McDonald's? I'm gonna get a coffee, question mark. It says, would you like anything from McDonald's? I'm gonna get a coffee, send it. Yeah. Done. Every time I stay at my boyfriend's house, it's like I'm packing for a weekend away. What do they call it? Like a medium distance girlfriend? Not even medium distance. We live about 40 minutes apart, which is not that bad, but we're not like just down the road from each other, you know? I always need to make sure I'm bringing everything. First world problem. I managed to fit everything into here. It is raining, so we're gonna try and make a really quick dash for his house. All right, let's go. <laughs>